God, this premiere shit is so loud. YouTube is so bad at balancing its audio. Megaloclagia. Oh, God. All right. Show us some good shit, Arxis. That can go up a smidgen. Holy shit, that's an intro. Oh my god, he looks so good. Crouch heavy, stand jab, let's fucking go. Fujin! Fujin! Oh my god, that looks so fucking sick! Auto guard counter, jumped us, let's fucking go. Oh my god, he looks so fucking sick! Auto guard, auto guard in the throw? Fuck yes, let's go, butterfly! Oh my god! Hell yes! Oh my god, he looks so fucking sick! Those are the best looking animations they've shown yet. Come at me. Holy fucking shit, he looks so good. Alright, what's what's our final? You can surely they're gonna show us the final character, right? No? Oh, February. Oh, they don't have it ready. Okay. Holy shit. All right. Well, let me uh, let me go back over some stuff here. Oh, my God. He looks so fucking sick, dude. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not even a hint. His music sounded so fucking good. I love his new design. His kimono looks awesome. Alright, so let's see here. This is Crouching Heavy from the old games. Dude, look at the way his kimono goes across his back and shit. He looks fucking amazing. So this is, this used to be his old low auto guard move, his original low auto guard move. So this looks super good. Big counter hit on it. Stand jab, stand. Okay, so this is really important. Um, If this is real, so one of the biggest changes that Anji got in plus R, which is the last time Anji was a fucking character, as you all know, and have heard me bitch about, um, was that they made his stand jab, arguably the best stand jab in the game. Uh, because, um, it became a level three move, which is stupidly high hit stun and block stun for a stand jab. And the fact that he gets, d gets two of these is a big deal. And then she, wow, did she fall into sweep afterwards? Was that his new sweep? Or was that like crouching kick or something? All right, hold up. Let me go back here. Not that far back. So he has Fujin. That we know is real. Wow, does that distort the fucking area around him? Look at what happens to the wolf on Giovanna's sprite. Holy shit, the wind like actually distorts the whole area in front of him that's fucking rad all right back to what i needed to see here so if that's his sweep that's a big change because that is not nearly as long as his old one um because his old one he basically laid out flat on the ground so what i'm trying to figure out is does she tech or does she fall right into this? 
that also could be his replacement for crouching kick because his crouching kick was a low fan swipe in the past. The fact that juggles is wild. Um, so they might want crouching kick to look more, more like a normal kick to make it less confusing for new players. I could totally see that be a thing. Yeah, it's true. I didn't see the tech, the tech ring anywhere. So, uh, that's pretty wild. So stand jab, stand jab, crouch move. If, if that's crouching kick and combos into that's regular Fujin, that's slash Fujin right there. This distortion though, holy shit, what a cool effect. And then gets blown back. We don't know what kind of knockdown is on that. Okay. So that stand heavy still has that. That's a really good poke to know. God, look at his animations. These look so fucking good. His, his run animation is pretty close to what his old one was. He would hunch down a little bit. He's definitely lower profile than he used to be. That's cool. I wonder if he'll be able to duck under some, some high stand jabs. That'd be super neat. So running, stand heavy. It's super important that this is still a a move. This move's really, really big part of his kit. So we do stand heavy into hard slash Fujin. Yep. Does he swing at him? Hell yeah, let's go. So I'm assuming that's hard slash Fujin, judging by how much longer it took to start up. Because the one he did on Giovanna was almost instant. Yeah. Okay, so these are all... So he still has stand slash. So the one thing... I'm trying to think of what all we haven't seen yet. I haven't seen any form of stomp yet. Yeah, I've noticed that too. The kanji seems to change on the, the fan. As far as I know, the only kanji on the fan was for own in the old game. Now, obviously, there's a good chance we haven't seen all the moves. All right, so... Fujin. Which is... Move a little smoother, but it's fine. Let me just watch this in motion again. Okay, so that was hot follow up after Fujin. Fujin, hop. That is new. That's okay, so what is that? This. This is a new move. So this looks like what is old. Oh, damn, look at the fucking particle distortion on that hit. Christ. That is a similar animation to what his um, punch auto guard counter is. But he didn't auto guard. He just rose up into it. So I wonder if they gave him this as some kind of uh, air extension. I'm really curious. And then it does a wall break. I don't think it's a DP. I would be stunned if they gave him a traditional Dragon Punch. That doesn't fit Anji's kit at all. It might be something... Might be a... a uh, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what that could be. Did they actually give him Vertical Fujin? Did I get my fucking wish? I just want to look at these real quick. His design looks fucking amazing. Like the uh, the uh, the the preview, like on, on the yellow background that they've done for everyone, made it look like his headband was just like gigantic. But this looks great. Like cue up all the oh no, he's hot, and then I'm gonna laugh at people because it's like, dude, Anji was always hot. I don't know where the fuck y'all been. The other thing I like is that he's he's not quite so um fucking crazy thin waisted. Like he he had like the beyond hourglass figure in the old games. Like he looks a lot more, uh, 
like realistically proportioned in this. He's still got the most ridiculous set of abs ever, though. Jesus Christ. Okay, so what is this? This I definitely didn't get a good look at. It's some type of anti-air, it looks like. God, fucking Zato's sprites are... Uh, I know these aren't sprites anymore, but I'm going to call them sprites. It's Guilty Gear. Still has his old block animation. Awesome. That looks so good. That looks super good. All right, so let's see here. God, look at his... Look at the, like, concentration on his face. I love this. He rears all the way back. That's got to be his new forward punch. Has to be. That's a no... Yeah, okay, I see what they did. Because this is how they used to do it in the old game. Is he would rear back, kind of like lean back a little bit, and then extend forward. So it doesn't have the range that it used to. Old forward punch lunged forward like a fucking hot minute. But this looks really cool. He's like ducking under them and then slashes with the fans. And then counter hit into... Whatever that move is. That's the second time we've seen that. So he has some type of air command move now. I'm really curious what that is and what the purpose is. Okay, you could combo out of it. Jump does still has blowback and looks like it still stops him. All I can say is, please God, let the... Okay, still have jump kick. That looks like it's got an actual... Wow, that looks like an amazing hitbox on that. That's all raw assumption, of course. I have no idea what the actual hitbox is. But just judging by the way his limb sticks out, that jump kick looks super good. So yeah, whatever this is, this rising move has me really curious. Because like I said, this is, this is what old Punch Auto Guard used to do. I love how they constantly are putting wind animations around him. Like, really, really, really showing, like, the elemental power that Zessen has. And then Dust, alright. Hold on, I just wanna... I wanna get a few of these still frames. He looks fucking great. I love the gloves. See, these look so much better. Like they made the the way they positioned him in the trailer made it look like he had like ridiculous oversized belts across the whole gloves. But in this, they're just like they're finger gloves with a couple belts on them that don't like completely override the character design. Blur effects because Arxis and they can do things. Okay, so that was all we get of that. Seriously, these look so good. Got, got little symbols on his gloves and everything. The tip of the fan. Yeah, these all look fucking great. Huge fan. All right. So that's Stan Slash. Oh, that's interesting. Hold up. I'm sorry, what? Go back, go back, go back, go back, back. Did he? Does he have air dash cancel? No way. They wouldn't have given him that. Did they give everyone air dash cancels? No way did they make this unique to him. So that was Stan Slash. Jump kick. Whoa, that means that's jump cancelable. Okay, that's a big deal because so many moves were not jump cancelable early on. So that's a big change. Dude, look at how sick the coloring on his fucking kimono bottom is. Like, it's got the butterflies on it. Like, I love that he's not just blue with a little bit of yellow accent. Like, this blue with the black looks so good. Like... I would actually be willing to play default color, and I never play default colors of characters. So that's jump kick. Does he jump cancel, or does he go straight in? No, he goes straight into air dash. Really? 
And that clearly did not recover all the way on its own. Wow, he can fucking air dash cancel his normals. That's nuts. That's a ridiculous change. And then that's jump heavy for a knockdown. That's jump slash. Okay, so he still has that. See, so that's just jump, jump slash, jump heavy. This is the first new footage since the survey? I believe so. I believe so. And lands. Kai gets slammed. That looks like it's probably going to be techable knockdown. That's his old wind pose. That looks so good. Oh, wow. He, like, fades. That, that's... God, what a sick animation. All right. Hang on. More still frames. Legit, I, like... I know I'm biased as fuck, but I legit think he looks like the best animated character they've done yet. Which would be on track with how Exord went because the, the more characters that got made later on. Anime pretty. I love that he's doing more like fancy shit by flipping the fence. Wow, look, they actually have his fingers intertwined in the gap of the fans to let him do this kind of shit. So I wonder if this is his uh, end of round win pose, like his cutscene win pose. That's really cool. All right, so this, uh, so this is going to be important because I, I, at this point, I was geeking out too much to really keep up with everything. This is important because this matchup sucks, and if this game's going to be more ground based, this is going to be interesting. So what happened here? I love his block animation. Just sitting with the single fan. He kind of... They gave his teeth a little bit of a grit. Like... He looks fucking amazing. So is this Fujin? Nope. This is Auto Guard. That's the block... That is the block stun. Or hit stun animation. He still has Auto Guard. That's fucking huge. That's so huge in this game. So they gave him auto guard into a So instead of a a counter that goes into a strike, he gets right up next to him and throws him. Is his throw still the same as it used to be? Does he just trip him up with the fan? That throw was quick too. Did you see how few frames it was before he started the throw animation? Yep, it's still his old throw. Whips the fan out from underneath of him. And then you go for the ride. That's a, that's a big deal. Also, if that... I think this attack of Axel's is a low. Yeah, that's a low. Oh, man. Did they fuck up and make Auto Guard Universal? Did they actually give him, like... Not high and low Auto Guard? Because that's going to be a mistake. <laughs> like... I'm hoping that was some kind of low auto guard move he did. That's his forward throw. His throw looks the same on both sides. But if they gave him a way to auto guard both high and low, that's a that's a mistake. <laughs> like that will not be okay. And then butterfly. So here, okay, here's an important thing though. Butterfly acted different. Also, I want to count the uh, frames on this. Okay. I'm just seeing how long it takes Butterfly to start up. So Butterfly comes out. So throw into Butterfly is still a meaty. Butterfly also seemed to recover pretty 
quick. That's fast. That's really fast. So let me see this. So butterfly hits and then does it go up? It looks like right here above Axel's head, I see an a uh, butterfly. I can't fathom they just made this a generic like one hit projectile. That would be incredibly boring. So they're probably saving this as a T, like not showing you everything, how it's going to transform into. Um, but we do get to see that it does something. But we don't know yet. It, it definitely has not reached uh, its full falling point. I wonder if there's going to be more. That's crazy because that means right now he can already start doing normals long before Butterfly gets back down. That's fast. This will be a matchup. This will be a weird matchup. God, look at how fucking good he looks. Holy shit. Okay, so what do we have here? This is auto guard again. So let's see where this goes. So auto guard. So it looks like auto guard now he goes into this pirouette animation and then chooses what he wants to do. Like you can just let it finish. Cuz Leo's going in. That's uh that's flash kick. Is this just completely invulnerable? Dude. So the auto guard pirouette is just like all of the iframes. That's wild. And then I think he went into super. Yep. Oh, dude, I can't wait to see what Isanogi is going to look like. That's wild. Holy shit. Yeah, he's he's got a lot going on. All right, I just want to watch one more time with no stops. No, I'm I I don't fathom that's his guard point super cuz he's doing the same thing he used to do where he'd take both fans and then start spinning it. So I'm almost positive that's Isanogi. All right. Yeah, I just want to watch this one more time. Just just get to enjoy all the animations cuz now I know what I'm looking at. This song is amazing though. And I'm so glad it doesn't have vocals. I like vocal tracks, but there's been a lot of them so far. His combo strings look great. So something that I that I really like in the in my head right now, I still can't believe he air dash canceled. That blows my fucking mind. Um the thing that I really like is that if he still has throw in the butterfly, that means knocking them down in the corner, you're going to have the option to chuck them out of the corner and not break the wall, which for me is a big, big, big deal. Hell yeah. It's next trailer in February. All right, then. Well, start taking your bets. I'm kind of surprised they didn't uh, they didn't drop the last character. Kind of really surprised, to be honest. I'm doing this one more time. Sorry. I'll watch it. I'll, I'll, I promise I'll watch it five billion times on my own after stream. But like, I'm just putting through all the all the possibilities in my head of how he how he functions so I didn't see own but granted they have not showed every character's special move in the trailers so that doesn't mean own isn't in the game but I I'm I won't be surprised if it's not there but we didn't see own we didn't see stomp we didn't see uh, orb we also didn't see all the Fujin follow-ups yet which is really important
his animations look insane. I love it. Just looks great. That that auto guard pirouette is a really interesting way to do his setup. Does this look like a good version of Anji? Honestly, I can't tell you. Um, I don't know enough about how the final version of Strive is going to play to even really know what's going to make a character truly strong in this game yet. Um, I have no idea what kind of damage he does. We have no idea what kind of guard crank he does. But his kit looks interesting, to say the least. He looks like he plays like Anji. They didn't gut him and turn him into something else, which makes me very happy. Uh, so it'll, that'll be really, really, really interesting. I I can't wait to uh to start messing with it. Please, Arc, just make the net code as good as plus R, please. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of wondering too, Reno. Like, it seems like maybe he can kind of do whatever during the pirouette. That's going to be really interesting. I I can't wait to see what he does fully in practice. That's going to be super super wild. All right, uh, let me let me turn notifications back on for one, and uh, catch up on what I missed here. So, uh, Dead Stony, welcome back for twenty five months. Glad to have you back. And Ape, welcome back for fifty three months. Thank you to both of you. Apparently, his old voice actor declined to reprise his role. Really? Really? Huh. He did the role for Exert, though. I haven't heard anything about that. That'll be sad. His voice actor is iconic. Um... Because, yeah, he did the... It was brief, obviously, in Rev 2. Uh, but then again, like, if they started recording this year and maybe he couldn't, you know, they might not have been able to get him because of COVID. Um, so that, that'll that be kind of unfortunate if that's if that's the case. Because, uh, yeah, I love... I mean, his original voice actor is great. Hopefully, it's, hopefully they can find someone to give him an updated sound to him just have soul punch him once in the throat expect his voice to change yeah i i am incredibly happy with that trailer everything like the animations look great i like the idea of the combo theory he seems to have um like holy shit he's got really really cool looking tools and his animations look incredible like Super, super good. So, yeah, happy birthday to Anji. Holy shit. Big fan. That's a bad pun. Sorry. That was not intentional, but what are you going to do? It's... I'll make it up to you with PLC shenanigans. Anyway, uh, that's all I'm going to do uh, for Guilty Gear stuff. Um, I'm going to get ready to hop in the voice call here, and we are going to... Take 2020 out back by the shed where it belongs and send it by render. Let me see this. It's been asked by Eric System where Japanese voice under Anji for change. It was Toru, yeah. Strive Anji and Alibi voice is known for. Oh my god, it's Lancer? Really? Huh. So I really like Ku's voice actor. I don't know. I'm. That's going to be hard to unhear as Anji. Hmm. I mean, that's a great choice. I'll have to hear it. I'll have to hear it in in uh in action. I am sad. It's sad. It's not Toru. Toru did a one like such a great job. For uh. For Anji's voice. I oh, know that'll be interesting. I can't wait to hear it. Um, so we'll go from there. Yeah, render looks great. I'm super happy with that. All right, we'll.